I'm going to be praying for President Trump, his family, and also for everyone in, in a high position of authority in America. Out of 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 1 and 2, Paul said, First of all, then I urge you to make supplications and prayers and intercession and thanksgiving for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may live peaceful in a quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. Lord, we come before you, give you thanks for the people you've placed in authority in this country, Lord. Specifically for President Trump, Donald Trump, Lord, thank you for his life. Thank you, Lord, for his wife, his children, Lord. Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will give him your heart, that you will save him, Lord, that you will encounter him in the night and in the day. Lord, in the midst of all the demonic attacks, against him in this country and around the world lord i ask that he will be able by the power of your holy spirit to hear the great intercessor that is praying for him lord i ask that jesus will be heard in his heart lord through people through leaders and friends around him even through the vice president but lord i ask also that during the night as he pondering about his life and the future, Lord, I ask that you will encounter him. Lord, we intercede today because this is godly, because this is pleasing before you, Lord. We agree with your heart, Lord. I ask that you will encounter him. Save him, Lord. Fill him with your Holy Spirit. We believe that he can be a follower of your Son, fully pleasing to you, Lord. One day, we believe, Lord. That even today, Lord, our faith is crying out that today you can encounter him. That today you can pour out your spirit, Lord. Lord, I ask that your heart will be shared with him for the widow, for the poor and the oppressed. Give him your judgment. Give him your righteousness. Give him, Lord, your justice. In the name of Jesus, Lord, according to Psalm 72, give him, Lord, but it's righteous. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, will you pour out your spirit in, on him, on his wife, his children, Lord. Bless them beyond measure, Lord. In the name of Jesus.
ask that you will use him for your glory. Lord, I ask that your beauty will be displayed to him in the name of Jesus, Lord. I ask that you will surround him with witnesses of your name, of your beauty, of your righteousness, Lord. Use him, Lord, for such a time as this. Lord, for your glory, even for a third great awakening, Lord, as you're moving us towards that moment, Lord, will you use him as a tool for your glory, doing righteous decisions, Lord, taking care of the widow and the poor, Lord, backing up your church, the gospel, the advance of your gospel, Lord. I ask that you will raise him up as a standard of truth, and righteousness Lord in the name of Jesus Lord I ask that you will push back all the darkness and all the accusations Lord Lord even in his heart when he's alone at his house Lord I ask that you will touch him Lord show him your mercy show him your loving kindness and tender mercy Lord we contend today for his destiny in eternity we contend for who he is in you Lord beyond a precedent Lord he is your beloved Lord we ask that you will touch him Lord even today Lord I, and we also contend today for every governor and everyone in high position Lord in America those who make laws or those who are in the Supreme Court and everyone Lord in authority we, we ask you Lord that today you will touch them turn them around for your glory let them encounter Jesus, Lord, supernaturally, something that we've never heard before. Lord, I know you listen to our prayers. We're just talking the things, saying the things you told us to tell you, Lord. I believe there's a word in these prayers. The Lord, in the name of Jesus, release power, conversion, Lord, and anointing everyone in authority right now, Lord name of Jesus. Turn them around for your glory. Let them encounter you forever. Lord, awake in eternity in those who are in different agendas who don't know you like right now, Lord. Turn them around for your glory in the name of Jesus. for a third great awakening in the name of Jesus. Turn them to the truth. Do it in the name of Jesus. 